the 332 we can't get in this door or this room but this is the back of the house and it leads to a roof terrace so we're not sure what the views are and there's a little mid terrace here with a light well over the kitchen area so parts of this have been reformed and other parts are a complete disaster um, so we're going to go and have a look there's no light up here um, but let's go and see what we can do. We're not going in this room here because the roof has collapsed. Um, you can see the cracks here, the walls coming away. Um, there's a lot of water ingress uh, and that has caused the roof and the kitchen to collapse. So possibly this bit of roof here would need replacing. But as we go through to the front of the house, That's some original floor tiles and in this part has a new roof <clears throat> so this part is watertight but obviously still needs some complete reform my very capable assistant with the flashlight here and through into the front room which would have a little Juliet balcony there overlooking the 332 you can hear some road noise but you could do double glazing so that's quite a nice big room or could be so we'll go around now that's back <laughs> uh, towards the little door there and the room so that's three rooms on this level the middle room has no natural light um, but that, that part has a new roof and it's coming out to the light well and looking out towards the roof terrace. So we're going to go downstairs. We have got some light on downstairs. A couple of missing tiles there. And odd features here. A little archway as you come down the stairs. Coming into the lounge area with chimney fireplace and then looking down towards the front door and there's another room we'll have a look at that in a moment and now we're going in to this area here which this is the ceiling that has collapsed uh, upstairs so that would definitely all need replacing those beams have completely gone they look like they've been totally eaten through and obviously the water ingress your main cross beam looks in pretty good condition so it would just be a case of replacing these floor beams kitchen's not a bad size you've got space for a fridge freezer here and plenty of storage obviously this would have been where the extractor was the kitchen's been ripped out probably need to redo the plumbing and certainly need to redo the electrics this room here little utility area and you've got plumbing there for the washing machine and there's a little sink where the boiler was and um, this would be our light well that's the oh yeah that's from the bit where we we're standing on when we started the uh, video so you've got light into the bathroom here that's a little shower room definitely needs upgrading but there's quite nice tiles on the wall if you wanted to keep those and that is followed through into this kitchen area <clears throat> and then we go into the back of the house uh, we have another room here off the kitchen um, not bad condition uh, but no natural light so maybe a storeroom and then this leads through here so this is out onto Garcia Ordonez which is a little road at the back and obviously you've got a garage door access and this is a new roof here so this is below the room that we couldn't get into which then has access to the roof terrace which is obviously um, extremely helpful to have that garage space and then walking through the rest of the house coming all the way back through and say this is not too bad but this is the bit that needs doing Nice big open aspect, double doors through here, and then coming 
out towards the front door. And I have another room here on the right hand side by the front door, little granny room. And yes, we are on the 332. The fuse board is actually reasonable condition, but the <laughs> electrics probably aren't. And just to get your bearings, quite near all amenities, the end of town. And we're up to Sun Rock. 